father's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, so it weighed not a penny weighed more. It was bought on the morn that the old man was born, who's always his treasure and pride. They stopped short to never go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, stop short. Never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather said of those he could hire, not a servant more faithful he found. For it wasted no time, and it had but one desire at the close of each week to be wound. And it kept in its place not a frown upon its face, and its hands never hung by its side. But it stopped. Short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, it stopped. Short, never to go again when the old man died. It rang an alarm in the dead of the night an alarm that for years had been dumb. And we knew that his spirit was pluming for flight, that his hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept the time with a soft and muffled chime, and he silently stood by his side. We stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, stop short, never to go again when the old.